Davao Region, the crown jewel of Mindanao, an abode of abundant resources, a dwelling place of Brazilian people, a habitat of progress, the home of the first Mindanaoan president of the Philippines, Davao Region, the region of royalties. Apart from being the economic center of Mindanao, Davao Region is also the educational hub of the South. Committed to the global thrust of achieving absolute inclusion in education to expand access to quality education, Davao Region ensures full implementation of the special curricular programs and one of which is the Special Program in Foreign Language or SPFL. The implementation of SPFL in the region is strengthened by the formidable leadership of the Regional Education Program Supervisor and Focal Person for SPFL, Maria Shello D. Estrada. Acknowledging the fact that the success of the curricular programs lies on its intensive implementation, the region office, through the technical assistance provided by the division program coordinators and active school heads, guarantees developmental activities to equip, empower, and inspire teachers and students. Davao Region SPFL team will never cease going beyond the limits and unravel what is yet to be known. It shall continue to push further to be more efficient in building the future, surpassing any form of barrier beyond boundaries. Davao City National High School, a top performing public secondary school in Davao Region a premier educational institution molded through the acid test of time, an institution built on a foundation of excellence. Davao City National High School is a vibrant community of learning that stands in the nation's service and in the service of its people. Chartered in 1922, Davao City National High School is a home to more than 12,000 diverse learners and 450 teaching and non-teaching personnel. It is undeniably one of the biggest schools in Davao Region, with its highly competitive standard gearing towards excellence in 21st century education. As the leading public secondary institution of the school's division of Davao City, Davao City National High School has been chosen as one of the model schools in the implementation of various debit programs and projects for the past years. Being a pilot school, it observes and implements the principles of school-based management which aims to improve the school system's capacity to be on track in achieving quality education by improving the learning outcomes of the learners. Minasang, konnichiwa. Hajime mashite. Christine Joy Kabahu desu. Tinsen sete yonde kudasai. Davao shi national kouko no nihongo to eigo no kyoshi desu. Dozo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Hi everyone. My name is Christine Joy C. Cabajo. I'm an English and Japanese teacher at Davao City National High School. Today, I'll be discussing more about the selected learning delivery modality of Davao City National High School. I'll be representing the special program in foreign language, Japanese, of Davao City Division, Region 11. Gikabalakan! Mas Department of Health Region 10 nga doon na isa kapasente ang nadala sa iligan nga nagpositibo sa COVID-19. Dua usab ang nagpositibo ang nadala sa Amay Pakpak Medical Center kinsa walay mga nakita. Gikalisangan! Ang mag-asawa ang pinakaunang positibong kaso sa COVID-19 sa Davao City. Gikahadlukan sa kadaghanan. Kinsa giingong mitakas gikan sa Sarangani Province. Sumala sa staff sa IN, tulo daw ka rooms ang gikuha sa mga OFW o bigamit lang. Pipila lamang kini sa mga reaksyon panahon kung dunay mo abot nga kalamidad. Ug sama sa usa ka kawatan sa kagabion, mo abot kuno kini nga dili mamatikdan. Putang nga angay gayud nga pangandaman. 
Ang Davao City National High School sulod sa pipila ka tuig nagpabiling aktibo sa papatuman og mga programa sulod sa tulungan kabahin sa disaster risk reduction and management. Estudyante man o magtutudlo giban sa yaaron mahimo mabinantayon o galing mo abot man ang bisag unsang matang sa kalamidad. Ato gyapon gamiton ang social distancing kay dili man pwede nga dili ta mo evacuate kung kung laay lino. So magamit niya po na ito itong practice sa uh, dati ng practice nga wala pa ka pandemic kaya lang uh, mag-apply tao social distancing. Ug bisan pa man sa new normal setting ug hulga nga giatubang sa tibuok kalibutan karon gumikan sa COVID-19 wala gayud nagpatinag ang Davao City National High School ni ini gani mas gipakusgan pa sa Davao City High ang kampanya Batok Pandemya mismo ang mga personal sa school clinic ang nanguna sa pagmuntar ug mga tarpaulin sulod ug gawas sa tulungan aron hingpit maedukar ang publiko kabahin sa hulga nga dala sa COVID-19 Mas gipakusyon usab sa City High ang information drive campaign ni ini pinaagi sa alternative media platform ni ini nga Teleradio City High diin naglaraw nga mapasabot sa mga stakeholders ang mga mahinungdan ng impormasyon kabahin sa global pandemic Samtang gipasigar bu usab ni ini ang new normal enrollment system diin nagtanyag og duha ka managlahing pamaagi ang online enrollment ug on-site drop box enrollment method diin gisiguro gayud ang kaluwasan sa mga stakeholders pinaagi sa pagpatuman sa mga safety protocols kamatigdan nga sa gate pa lang do na nang ini washing area alang sa tanang buot musulod nakamuntar usab ang mga footpath aging pagdisinfect sa tanang musulod gawas sa tulungan do na usay security personnel nga mohiling sa body temperature gamit ang thermal scanner ingon man mo giya sa paglagda sa COVID-19 tracer form Nakapwesto usab ang mga naka-work on-site nga mga magtutudlo aron mupatunhay sa dropbox enrollment procedure. Samtang tataw nga matagbuhatan, striktong gipatuman ang social distancing aron masiguro nga lupas ang tanan gikan sa COVID-19. Gawa sa mga stakeholders, gipaniguro sa Davao City High nga lupas sa peligro ang skeletal workforce ni ini. Busa kamatigdan nga ang mga personahe nakasuloob og personal protective equipment sulod sa workstation. May pahigayon usab og extensive campus wide cleaning and disinfecting aron mapasigurong covid free ang campus. Ang Davao City National High School nagpatigayon sa pagpakita og video presentation highlighting the best practices in connection with the celebration of the National Resilience Month 2020. With a theme sa masamang pagsulong tungo sa katatagan ng bagong normal. This is to strengthen the advocacy campaign of the Department of Education through the Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Services on Disaster Preparedness. Atong ipaniguro ang health and safety sa atong mga teaching and non-teaching personnel kauban ang mga ginikanan o mga stakeholders against sa COVID-19. Dili man matagan ang dagan sa kalibutan. Dili man magunitan ang dikta sa kinaiyahan. Wala may kasiguraduhan ang atong kapalaran. Apan walay mawala kung kita andam kanunay. Walay mawala kung kita magpabiling igmat o atubangon ang hagit sa bagong panahon. The recent COVID-19 pandemic has brought challenges upon the world. We Filipinos have been greatly affected in so many ways. This is by far the greatest adversity we face as a country. Even our education sector is also challenged as to how to deliver and continue education for our Filipino learners. Our students right now are not here in school but at the security and safety of their families at home. Prevention is better than cure. Ang pagkamabinantayon panahon sa pandemya, maoy usa sa gikinahanglang kinaiya, arun malikayan ang hulga o kahadlo sa COVID-19.
ang Davao City National High School sama sa ubang tulunghaan sa Rehiyon 11, igmat sa kanunay at sihimpit mapanalitan ang mga stakeholders o empleyadong ni Ini. No to face-to-face -face learning. Maukini ang minsahi nga buot ipaabot sa Department of Education. Kini atol sa pag-abri sa klase karong Agosto 24. Mao nga ang Davao City National High School gipaniguro nga COVID-free ang tulunghaan. Entrada pa lang, hugot na gipatuman na ang disinfection procedure. Makaplagan din he ang hand wash area. O din he, gisilsil sa tanang buot musulod ang husto nga pagpanghugas o kamot. Kini aron makalikay sa posibleng transmisyon. Gawas sa kamot, importante usab sa COVID-19 safety protocol ang pag-disinfect sa mga footwear, busa, Doon na usay giinstular ng mga food bath din he. Aron doble ang pagpaniguro. Nagbuntar ang Davao City High ug mga alcohol dispensers. Matag opisina aron malikayan ang pagtakboy sa sakit. Pinaagi sa thermal scanner. Angay usab nga mahiling ang body temperature sa tanang musulod ug eskwelahan. O gilayong murihistro sa COVID-19 information sheet alang sa mga paspas na contact tracing mechanism. Samtang kamatik dan usab ang mas gipakusgang COVID-19 information drive campaign sulod o gawa sa tulunghaan. Mismong ang mga personahe sa school clinic ang nagmuntar o mga tarpaulins Diin mabasa ang mga mahinundanong impormasyon kabahin sa paglikay sa coronavirus disease. O, gipatuman usab sa Davao City National High School ang social distancing. Pinaagi sa mas klaro, ughan ay nga proseso. Diin tataw nga walay face-to-face -face contact. O, striktong gisunod ang 2-meter distance rule. Apan, dili lang ang mga stakeholders ang gipanaliptan sa Davao City National High School. Apan laki pusab ang mga personahe ni Ini. Kinsa naka-personal protective equipment gayod while on duty. Christine Reyes, reporting on duty. You've just seen the health and safety protocols that Davao City National High School is implementing when it comes to the new normal setup. School year 2020 to 2021 really is very challenging for all of us, including the enrollment system was changed. We had two sets, the online enrollment and the Dropbox enrollment in school. Most of our SPFL Japanese and Spanish students preferred the Aliasf form online, and we found out that most of them would like to have blended learning. Blended learning comprises online synchronous or asynchronous mode or modular or offline system. Before the school year 2020 to 2021 begins, enrollment of students happens. And we in Davao City National High School, specifically for the special program in foreign language, had that initiative of creating social learning networks. We have created a Facebook page for SPFL, both Spanish and Japanese learners, and also our clientele. Another one is we made a Gmail account wherein both the students, teachers, or anybody in the community, including the parents, can give us inquiries, questions, and clarifications. In that platform, we can definitely answer them right away. Regarding the application and screening of incoming grade 7 students in the special program in foreign language of Davao City National High School, I, as the coordinator, also created ways and means on how to conduct screening procedures in the new normal setup. We utilized Google Forms for our application forms, including our English proficiency qualifying test for the students. 
Moreover, we utilized Google Meet or Messenger video calls to conduct online interviews. Students and parents were both interviewed during that time. Now, how will the materials like the modules, worksheets, or activity sheets be produced, distributed, and retrieved? Well, in the SPFL Japanese, since they opted for blended learning, I have created the social learning platform for Facebook and Google Classroom. These two platforms are the ones agreed by Davao City National High School to be used in general in the whole class from grade 7 to grade 12. Regarding the Facebook social learning groups I created for my students, the said platform will be utilized for communication purposes, while on the other hand, the Google Classroom itself will serve as the learning management system or LMS of our classes. Regarding the modules to be utilized by the SPFL Japanese students, these are all courtesy of our program partner, the Japan Foundation Manila. As one of the core group writers, together with the Japan Foundation Manila, we have been working hand-in-hand -hand to create content for our modules to be interactive, fun, and engaging for all our learners. Most of our SPFL learners opted to have digital copies rather than the printed ones. Maybe because, first, it's lightweight. Second, it can be downloaded using your cell phones. And third, it's COVID-19 free. It can be viewed on TV wherein the students and the family members can also learn Japanese at the same time at home. If they opted to have the printed module, then the school's safety and health protocols by the IATF must be followed and observed. Right now, I'm at home in my workstation and I'm creating content for my SPFL classes. These PowerPoint presentations will be utilized for my online class, specifically both asynchronous and the synchronous class. The synchronous class will be utilizing Google Meet, wherein I will be sharing screen and do interactive sessions with my students. On the other hand, for the asynchronous learning, I can do video recordings using my PowerPoint presentations and I'll be uploading them in YouTube. For a sample teaser of my videos, let's watch this. みなさん、こんにちは。クリスティンジョイカバホです。Hi everyone. I'm Christine Joy Kabaho, a Japanese and English language teacher at Davao City National High School. I'm so glad to meet you guys. Want to learn Japanese? Then don't forget to like, subscribe, follow and ring a bell. In my YouTube channel. Tanoshi Nihongo Benkashimasho. Ja, Natane. See you then. Japan captivates the heart of every traveler. Be enthralled with its beautiful sakura trees. Be relaxed with the luscious greens of Zen while forest bathing with tranquility. Be astonished with the foliage of crimson reds and amber yellows taking a deep breath while enjoying its magnificent sights and feeling the chilly autumn breeze. Be enchanted with the purity of its powdery white snow and the calmness brought by the winter frost. These are some of the places and activities I had during my travels while studying Japanese. I learned the intricacy of the style and fashion of wearing an elegant kimono. Met and fed a bowing here in Nara, went inside the well-known Tokyo Tower, walked across the Shibuya Crossing, enjoyed my childhood heart in the very popular anime world and electronic town of Akiba or Akihabara. I also rode so many efficient train lines in Tokyo and reached the breathtaking Odaiba, ate various kinds of sushi, slurped hearty servings of ramen, and drank a refreshing matcha. So, 
Want to learn Japanese? Come on, Nihongo Manabimasho. This is Let's Go Nihongo with Din Sensei. Isn't it great? Right. If the students or the parents also opted to have copies with my video recordings, they may do so. Once they get the modules from me in school, they can also have a copy through Bluetooth connection and connectivity or share it application on their phones and I'll be sending them my YouTube videos. The worksheets, activity sheets, including the reflection sheets of the learners are already included in their soft copy of the module. These activities will also be reflected through Google Classroom platforms and also the Facebook social learning group that I created for them. If they have difficulty when it comes to answering online, they can also write it in a piece of paper following the said format in the module. In that way, both offline and online systems can also be utilized by the students. Now, how will the student outputs be gathered in this new normal setup of education? Well, for the SPFL Japanese who took the online synchronous and asynchronous classes, they can submit their outputs right away through Google Classroom. In that platform, I as a teacher can automatically give them grades and remarks when it comes to their outputs. For the offline modality, the parents can submit the written outputs, activities, and worksheets of the learners in school during the time of the distribution and retrieval of the next set of modules. Now, what types of assessments can be given to the SPFL students? In our class, we'll be utilizing formative and summative assessments. Formative assessments can be found in their modules, while the summative assessments can be also created by the teacher, myself, and also additional worksheets which will be provided to us by the Japan Foundation Manila. These activities can also be given online and offline. Both the formative and summative assessments will also be created using the Google Classroom LMS. Another one is for them to create the opportunity of producing their own content through video making or even other performance tasks. Students may also have the opportunity to have a live interaction with me as a teacher utilizing the Messenger video call or the Google Meet platform. In my usual SPFL class, we often conduct one-on-one -on -one interviews every end of the quarter. In this new normal, I will be utilizing Google Meet platform or even the Messenger video call when I do communication drills and tests for my students. During that time, I will be providing them with the rubrics that I created when it comes to their communication skills and testing them how far they have learned when it comes to our competencies. Speaking Japanese, either in the face-to-face -face or online platform, will be a challenge for our learners. I will make sure that they will be learning within this platform regardless of the new normal setup. Now, there might come a time when a student or a learner will have difficulty when it comes to our discussions. What to do with them? For me as a teacher, since I have all their contact details, I can communicate with them right away through text messaging, SMS, direct message through Messenger, or give them a call through Messenger video call or even Google Meet. In that way, there are a lot of means for a teacher and a student to communicate. Moreover, giving them the direct feedback and communication through SMS and other platforms will give them a sense of belongingness that you really do care for your students. In addition, the Japan Foundation Manila also gave us various website links including applications through iOS and Android wherein the students can also still continue learning Japanese at the comfort of their homes. These applications will also give them intensive lessons because these are all interactive, fun, and engaging activities. COVID-19 
may have given a great shift when it comes to the education system in the Philippines. But that doesn't mean that education must stop. The Department of Education, with its significant Sulong Educalidad advocacy, creates the feeling that the students shall never be left behind despite the pandemic. With this, teachers, school personnel, people in the community, everybody involved, we shall overcome. Kore kara mo, ishu ni, ganbarimashou. Together, let us do our best. Kore de, watashi no happy o presentation no owari desu. Domo arigato gozaimashita. The race for excellence has no finish line. Davao City National High School continues to thrive further in sustaining the mark of supremacy, placing them in the pedestal of distinction. Home to dreamers and game changers. The cradle of future leaders and 21st century innovators. Davao City National High School. Building the future and a foundation of excellence.